Well, this is session 13 as we're looking uh, through 1 Thessalonians um, at what we can learn about making disciples. And this is going to be kind of the break in this series as we're going through the book. We're going to take some time uh, somewhere else uh, after this session. But we're going to kind of close up chapter 2 by looking at verses 14 through 16. And Paul has just talked about his thankfulness uh, that, that the church in Thessalonica received the gospel, his message for what it was, the very word of God. And in verse 14, then, he's going to go on to say why he's confident uh, that they received it as God's word. And he says this, he says, For you, brothers, became imitators of the churches of God in Christ Jesus that are in Judea. For you suffered the same things from your own countrymen as they did from the Jews, who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets and drove us out and, and displeased God and opposed all mankind by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles that they might be saved. So, as always, to fill up the measure of their sins, but the wrath has come upon them at last. Well, so, so what does the, the, the wrath of God on disobedient Israel and, and the suffering um, of the church in Thessalonica in, in the same way have to do with my D group? Uh, well, the point of the text is, is this. Um, Paul could see uh, the fact that they valued the gospel as the very word of God that was going to give them life because they were willing to suffer for it. See, as we're making disciples in the context of our D groups, we need to be willing to call people to suffer uh, for the word of God, the person of Christ that we are holding out to them. I've been really convicted of this uh, recently. See, I'll try to be um, gentle and gracious and patient, which we should be. If we follow Jesus and know Jesus and love Jesus, we do so only by grace. We've got nothing to claim. We can't um, force people to follow Jesus by guilt. It's not about us. It's about him and him moving in people. But what I end up doing, though, is diminishing for people by accident, thinking I'm loving them, uh, the real cost of discipleship, the real cost of following Jesus. I'll say, yeah, you know, just kind of be a good guy or kind of go to church or just kind of try to read your Bible a, a, a little bit. But when I make the cost of following Jesus less than everything, what I end up doing in the end is actually diminishing the value of Jesus Christ himself. Because knowing him, having my sins blotted out by his life, death, and resurrection, and the very presence of God dwelling in me by the Holy Spirit uh, because of what Jesus has done that will be mine and I will be his for all eternity, that and his presence in that is worth everything. It is. And when I don't call people to do difficult things, when I don't call people to suffer in their discipleship of Jesus, what I end up doing is diminishing the value of Jesus himself. Because discipleship of Jesus is always going to be bring suffering for three reasons. One, we have sin living in us. It's always going to be resistant uh, to loving Jesus and following Jesus. Two, we live in a world that's always going to be resistant to us, loving Jesus and following Jesus. And three, we have an enemy, Satan, who hates us and hates him and is going to try to use our flesh, our sin, and the world around us to, to hurt us and to, to make us suffer and to make it difficult to follow Jesus. They're going to have to cling to the faith that he is worth it all. We are, are always going to face resistance in our discipleship uh, until the day that we die. And the reality is, is that it's worth it all. And so we need to be willing to call our people to suffer for the sake of the gospel because it's going to be worth it. We need to be willing to call our people to do hard things because Jesus is worth it. And the only way we're going to be convinced of that ourselves is if we suffer ourselves in our discipleship. Not, not for the sake of suffering so that God likes us better, but because je that is just the way it is in this fallen world. So, so what are the hard things that you need to do, leader, in you following Jesus? Because I promise you, whatever it is God is leading you in, it will be worth it. Because it's his word. It's Jesus Christ himself, our only source of life. So let's start with us. Do those hard things and lead other people to do whatever it takes for more of Christ because he's worth it all. That's what we're doing in the context of our D groups.